Okay, now we're going to look at machine learning and how the Delft Toolkit handles that. First, we'll look at uh, recording gestures uh, and training the machine learning system, and those will be using uh, the uh, accelerometer inside of this uh, robot. And then we'll look at classifying or recognizing the uh, gestures and performing behaviors depending on which gesture is recognized. So uh, first, uh, we'll look at the training segment, and uh, let me just initiate that. So it's now ready for me to train, and I tilt once, and that means it's recognized when it blinks again. And you can see that up here in Wekinator, which is doing the uh, training. So every time it blinks, we record a new gesture. Okay, now on to the second gesture, and we'll tilt the other way. So now we've completed the training of the system and we can move on to the recognition part. So now we'll look at the recognition part where we'll do a gesture on the robot and um, the machine learning system will classify that gesture and then uh, we'll perform a behavior. So this is the whole behavior tree for this uh, classification part. And um, this part simply initiates the uh, sensing of the behavior. And then in this section here, these, two, these are the two different behaviors depending on the gesture. So gesture one initiates a, um, a turn right, turn left. And um, these here, we need to turn the, um, the accelerometer off while we're doing the gesture, or it'll think that's a gesture because it's motion. So we turn it off and then we turn it back on when we're finished with the gesture. Same thing over here with gesture two. Um, we turn it off and then we repeat this um, turn right and then move forward. So it'll basically make a square. All right, so two different gestures. Uh, let's um, start the recognition. Okay, so we'll recognize one gesture this way. And now we'll recognize a different gesture. Okay, so that's a bit of machine learning in the Delft Toolkit.